What is up YouTube? It's Nasty Nate. Today we are going to be trying to put on the new 5 inch on the race truck. I washed her last week and we got a couple inches of snow. This thing hasn't ran in like a month because it's been leaking coolant from the water pump. Haven't felt like fixing it because it's cold out guys it's like 20 degrees today i think and uh i got her plugged in um got the charger on it just because i thought the batteries might be dead but it looks like we're at 14.1 so we're good there it's only been plugged in for like an hour we're gonna try to get this exhaust on today uh my buddy's got a sawzall He's gonna come over and we're gonna chop off the old exhaust, which I'm kind of scared of doing because this thing is super clean. Bought this thing in Florida about two or three months ago. Probably make a video on that. But uh, we're getting a five inch on. All right guys, we're making progress on the Chevy. Um, we got the muffler out. It's giant. Uh, I cut the tailpipe off. It kind of unbolts in the center right here. This is facing the forward part of the cab, and then this is the rear. I cut it here, and uh, you unbolt it here. It's like a weird clamp, so I got that off. The next step is the down, or right after the downpipe, is like a weird curved section, and then a catalytic converter. I don't know if you can see that up there, but. I'm hoping I won't have to cut it there because my blade on the sawzall is like too short to get through the actual pipe. So you have to cut it from both sides, which is super annoying. Um, I don't have a lift or I don't think my jack will jack this up any higher than it's sitting right now. And it's pretty tight under there. It's uh, all stock suspension right now, so it's uh, kind of tight under there when you crawl under it. but. We're working on it. It's freezing out here. It's like 19 degrees. Good thing is there's no wind today. And uh... all right, guys. Yesterday we were working on the exhaust on the Chevy. Um, so I was in the middle of cutting the catalytic converter off, which is this thing right here. It's uh, it's kind of small, but it's really heavy actually. The only way to get it out is to take the cross member off or cut it out. I was in the middle of a cut. Uh, the battery died on the Sawzall. I only had one battery because uh, it's a Milwaukee. It's one of my buddies. Um, if you're watching this, Garrett, uh, you should have bought a DeWalt. I'm just kidding. I have no uh, nothing against Milwaukee and DeWalt. It's just funny. We go back and forth arguing which one's better. Um, anyway, I got this all together. Finally, I'm super stoked to get it started up. Uh, we got the first piece on right there that's the downpipe and then uh, all the way back it's just straight there's a piece I cut off um, so when you when you have a single cab it's weird because you only need the piece that connects to the downpipe this tiny piece right here it's like one foot and then over the axle and I guess the rear too but these are two brands that I like put together um, if you have a regular cab, you got to buy a straight piece like off of Summit Racing. That's what I did. It's a 40 inch straight piece. Uh, the bends they give you are only for extended cabs um, and crew cabs, uh, different bed, bed configurations. But I think it looks super good. I love the spot that it comes out right now. Um, I got a six inch tip for it, five inch to six inch that I'm going to put on. I'm going to go change my clothes and uh, clean myself up and we're going to do a cold start. Uh, yeah, I did this in the middle of the snow. We're getting three inches today or something like that. So, uh, but we got it on. Uh, a few things to put back together and uh, we're going to start her up.
guys I totally I totally expected this thing to have a rough start it was like absolutely no problem it was like 10 degrees last night um, I had it plugged in overnight I've never done that before um, I had the charger on it all night just to make sure the batteries were charged so I figured I might as well plug it in too but uh this thing's running great it's uh I don't know probably 170 right now uh, it's been running for about 10 minutes um, can uh, can't ask for anything better it's got a five inch on it uh, let me know if you guys want me to put a tip on this thing um, I have a six inch tip but I kind of like it the way it is right now without the tip so here's the six inch I don't know it might look good it might look stupid when I put wheels on it I'm gonna do an axle dump but uh guys for a regular cab it's really weird you don't have to use these two pieces in the bottom right here um, the piece at the top of the screen is for behind the axle but the Magnaflow one exits uh, under the bed at like a super weird angle and I think it's really ugly so I found on eBay a diamond eye um, rear tailpipe or whatever and the reason I bought a Magnaflow is because they use these band clamps I don't know if you can see right there it's like a better clamping style and no other company uses that I don't know it might not be better but I think it looks a lot cleaner um, but I don't like the rear tailpipe how it exits so I found online a uh, diamond eye tailpipe so I use that I think it looks a lot cleaner um, yeah that's it guys uh, with a regular cab you don't use one of the clamps you don't use th these two pieces, but you do need to buy a straight section like I showed earlier. It's kind of hard to tell, but in the center, like under the bed, you just use a straight piece. You don't use any of those weird bends. All the hangers are in the wrong spot, but uh, I'm really happy with it. I got to put the fender liner back in, and uh, if you guys want to see more, like and subscribe. We're going to show you more of this race truck this year. I uh, got a few things planned. Uh, if you want to see a video of the Daily Beater, um, let me know. Got a lot of stuff planned this year. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.